What is up everyone? I am Daniel back here for a new video. And today we're doing some turtle fishing in this side of the river. And we're doing some smallmouth bass and pike fishing on this side of the river. We got overcast. It's not too hot. I just seen a turtle over there and there's signs of turtles in there. So the snappers should be out today. And since the water is up, there should be more smallmouth hiding in here and some over there too. What I am using for my smallmouth and pike bait is this little storm thing. It's a crappie. It's very shiny. Um, last time I used a storm bluegill. You guys didn't see it because I didn't film it. And um, nothing really seemed to like it. It's a pretty big bait. I don't really know if anything will be able to eat it in here. But all I know is that pike love it. And since smallmouth are very similar to pike, <laughs> even though they're not. Yeah. Let's get it. And then my bait for turtles is a 5 inch wide gap hook with a hot dog on it, connected to a hand line, connected to a rod holder, connected to a stick. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. Little setup I got going on here. I'm going to throw this in the water, it's going to require two hands, that looks like a dead minnow right there, I'm going to go take a look at that. But it requires two hands, so I'm going to have to put the camera down to throw it out there and we'll see if we can catch some turtles today, let's we'll see what happens. Alright, the turtle rig is in the water, and how it works is that hot dog sits on the bottom and I put the little minnow on there, too, that little dead minnow. I don't know how it died or why it died, but yesterday, um, I've actually caught some pretty weird stuff with this. My first day of turtle fishing that I had ever done, I caught a, like a 32 inch pike. It was huge. Now, I didn't bring that one home. Then next, I caught a turtle. Next, after that, I caught another turtle. And it's, you know, so it was going really well for the turtles. Then I caught a carp. I'm like, carp don't eat minnows. So, why did a carp eat a minnow this time? I have no idea. But it did. And I guess that carp decided it was hungry for minnows. But today, well, yeah, no, yesterday I caught a smallmouth bass. A beautiful one, actually. I wish I had my camera to take a picture of it. It was beautiful and it had like a cichlid looking hump on its head. It was really cool. It was an old guy, but it wasn't very big. I say it was about maybe 13 inches. You know, it was decent. You know, it was a pretty old bass though. I could tell by just the look of it. Looks like turtles are moving around. Let's see if the fish are also moving around. Now the areas in the river I'm going to fish, I'm more than likely going to move my way. I'm going to move up here. All the way up here. Let's see. Because it gives me more cast range and this is a nice rod, so. Probably going to stand here. And I'm going to cast right towards that little wood pile right there. Because that's where the fish seem to hang out. Then I'm going to bring it back from there and see what I can end up getting. And I'll just keep doing that because I know that there are some fish over there. Some, not sun. Well, there's sunfish everywhere in the river. But um, next area I'm going to cast up is I'm going to move down there and I'm going to cast upstream into here because that little area I've, I've almost caught pike and smallmouth just dragging it along this bank embankment here. Because the way the river works is this little area all right here is deep. And then out in the middle it's actually more shallow because there's that little sandbar there. And then it's a little bit deeper over there. And then there's a little bit deeper area behind the sandbar. And then fish like smallmouth like to hide up in that little riffle there. Next to that island, catch little shiners. And then my next plan of action is going to be over here where my turtle rig is set up because I've actually caught... I caught a 32 inch pike over here and it was fat so I brought it home and we ate it. So this is my next cast of action. I caught the pike somewhere right up near that piece of wood. It was pretty insane. Giant pike. Man, it was a nice looking one too. Caught him somewhere in the middle there. It's really really deep right there. So I cast it out there for turtles. And I think I actually might see a turtle head right there. So we might get some luck today. I've seen what I believe to be three turtles already today. I haven't seen any soft shells. But you're allowed one soft shell a day. 
and you're allowed two common snappers a day and three painted turtles a day. And any hand line trap setups have to be supervised or else they're illegal. And any um I, uh, I don't I don't know where I'm going with this. Any hand lines have to be supervised and all turtles have to be 13 inches from head part of the shell to tail part of the shell. Not from head to tail, the shell length has to be 13 inches or over to keep a turtle. Painted turtle, I don't really think they have a size and I think it goes the same for soft shells. I've only ever caught, um, I've caught painted turtles, not with this, but I've caught painted turtles before like with nets and I've caught them with littler hooks and I've caught them before I've caught snappers with this I've caught I've caught a lot of things like basically all the species that live in this river I've caught on that so except for except for striped bass and there's the occasional trout perch there's walleye in here there's actually so many things in here you just got to get in the right spots to find them being there's 30 inch pike just in here, the only reason there is is because it's not a very often fished area for people to take them home and eat them. So they have a chance to get even bigger than they would originally. I see bubbles over there, but I see those bubbles all the time right there. And they don't seem like they're moving anywhere. So I think that's just, I think those are just bubbles. But I'm going to stop yapping. If I had something to put this on my chest so I could film me fishing, I definitely would. But sadly, I do not. So I'm going to pause this. I'm going to put it in a shady area so it don't get too hot. And it's not very hot out today anyway, which will be better for fishing. And I'm going to cast that baby out. And if I bring in something, I'll show it to you guys. So see you then. First catch of the day, Northern Pike. Uh, I caught him on the turtle rig. It's a little one. And, um, looks like I gut hooked him, sadly. I got pliers, though, because I was expecting turtles today. Where's my line here? There it is. Let's take a look at you, buddy. Yeah, this pike, this pike's got some issues right now. There he is, though. I don't know how far gut hooked he is, but... Seems like it's probably pretty far. Might have to break the leader for this one, I don't know. But like, the pike that I caught before on this turtle rig was like three times his size. No, I say two times his size. Maybe bigger. So I'm going to try and get him off. Then I will get back to fishing because... This was on my snapper rig, okay? This wasn't on what I was trying to use, but this proves that they are out today. So this is one of the pike. There's many pike in here. This is probably actually one of the spawns of the pike that we're going to be eating soon. So, yeah, let's see if I can get them off. So, we got good news and bad news. The good news is I got the pike off the hook. Um, I had to cut the line. Well, I took the hook out through the gill, then I cut the line. And um, that's how I got the hook off. Bad news is, it took me like 20 minutes to do. So that's him right there. So that's another less pike in the river, sadly. I guarantee you, a turtle will come and eat it pretty quickly here. Um, so I'm going to retie that. I'm going to put another piece of hot dog on and see if I can catch a turtle instead of a pike. So, let's see how this goes. So like I said, the pike definitely eat hot dogs and dead minnows. Because last time I caught that bigger one on a frog. That, that was a little baby. But what he did is he swallowed it and then he ran. Which is what turtles are supposed to do. And by the way, I just watched a green heron land down here and I think it snatched a baby duck. So, <laughs> But um, yeah, a turtle will come and eat that pretty quickly here unless it gets my new set it up hook 
I'm gonna get back to bass fishing. I tried there, there, and I tried over here, and while I was over here, the pike grabbed a hold. Well, he grabbed hold a little while ago, and then he swallowed it, so he died because they're not a very malleable fish when they're, oh, 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 he's trying, he's trying, he's trying, he's trying to get his head out of the mud. When I threw him back, his head landed in the mud. I want to help him. You guys want to help him? I'm going to help him. So I got his head out of the mud. Where's an area where you guys can see him? There we go. I got his head out of the mud, but he's still not a happy pike. I did my best to save him. The best thing would have been to just cut the line and throw him back, but I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to end this video short of turtle fishing because I haven't really been able to do this too much. So I got the hook out and... Um, Tried my luck, and he ain't doing too good. That's one last pike in the river. There's plenty of them. This place is full of pike. Now I'm going to get back. I'm going to throw that in there, and I'm going to start fishing with fishing rod again. Kevin Van Dam. Let's get it. So I did one last thing for the pike. I hooked him again. I brought him up here. And um, I got his gills moving again by the rapids. He tried to bite me, so I put him over there. And then he floated out into there upside down and they started to sink and it looks like he swam away scot-free. Other than that, I haven't caught anything else, haven't seen anything else. And, uh, yeah. So far today I've caught one pike, which is better than nothing, but I didn't catch it the way I wanted to. I, it couldn't fight or anything. This video is right at 12 minutes. It's got 15. But, um, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to film for too much longer. I'm going to make a couple more casts and see if I can catch anything. And if I don't, I will upload this, I promise. And just to show you that I'm really serious about this, I'm going to upload it even if I don't catch anything. Hope you all enjoyed this video, though. I'm not ending it yet. Enjoy it, please, because I'm going to make more. Tell me in the comments what you want to see out of this channel, and I will ch do my best to do it. As long as it's nature-related, because I'm still grounded from all of my electronics, story will be told later. All right. See you when I end up catching a fish, hopefully. Again, bye. All right, you guys, we got ourselves a turtle right now. He is taking off. Yeah, let's see if I can bring him in. For you guys to see. Oh boy. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, uh, he's really taking line. I'll see him. He's stuck on that stick out there. Here, I'm gonna bring him in. I'm gonna bring him in.